Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I've got the usual breakdown for Isanzo's dev blog number 15. So this week's focus was put entirely on the Garizia map. In fact, that will be the focus of next week's dev blog as well, because all of the maps seem to be so detailed and expansive, they warrant multiple blogs to cover them to their appropriate length. So to start, let's talk about how this map will be played, and how it's affected by those in order before it. The attackers will have to play through Monte San Miguel and Monte Sabatino before they reach the city, but victory on these maps is not essential to advance. Instead, winning on these will result in more tickets for the attackers on the following maps, so it's still important to go for those objectives and push the maps to their end. When you do get to Garizia, the first objective the Italians will have to push through is the defenses of Monte Calvario. This is a heavily fortified section of trenches that in the real world put up a massive resistance against the Italians. A really nice map design detail to take note of here is that the side closer to the Italian line has been destroyed by artillery, while the side closer to the city is left more intact. They also talked a lot about these little tunnels on the outskirts of the city for their historical significance, as this is where a young lieutenant found a hole in the Austro-Hungarian line, allowing for an overall assault of the city. But this doesn't seem to be the main focus of any objectives, so I don't think they'll be super important to the overall map flow. Once the hill is finally captured by the Italians, they'll be able to construct machine gun emplacements overlooking the city. More specifically, they'll be looking down on the two major defensive landmarks, those being the graveyard and the paper factory. The next objective encompasses the grounds and internals of the factory, and will likely offer some really gritty close range combat. Behind it, along the river, there are several artillery emplacements that seem to offer some broader, more open sight lines next to the waterfront. So that's all they've given us for the map sustenance today, but they'll be showing us more of the other side of the river and the deeper parts of the city in the next step blog. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Bobo Rail from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.